Hey, you back with another video on the Intel Compute Stick. Uh, doing some more gaming. Um, going to be showing some Torchlight 2. Um, let's see here. going to pull up the options. The settings, sorry. So I'm running the game at 720p. Uh, essentially a, a bare bones setting. So nothing enabled, no AA enabled, um, no Bloom enabled. Uh, have uh, Vsync disabled. Um, particle detail is set to low and the shadow detail is completely turned off so it's pretty much the lowest settings that I can see um, that you can have in this game so let's go ahead and uh, get it going go ahead and enable MSI Afterburner showing my frame rate and showing the CPU temperatures, CPU cores, uh, usage as well as the GPU and system memory and VRAM memory as well so So, I played this game a little bit prior to recording this video, and um, it dips down into the 20s, so even at 720p at low settings, with a lot of action on screen, or in some towns, it dips down into the 20s, so um, it's not the best experience by any means, but it's, it's still playable, in my opinion. Um, with games like these Diablo-style games, you don't really need more than 30 frames per second in my eyes. I mean, obviously, many people argue that. Um, but for a playable experience, 30 frames per second is okay. Obviously, 60 or more is preference, but it's still playable. Especially when you have to, when you're looking at that we're actually playing this on the Intel Compute Stick. So, something the size, of, it's an oversized flash drive. Um, if you've been watching any of my other videos, I am running this in performance mode. So, frame rate is better than what it would be if you're running it in standard mode, um, potentially by five to ten percent. So, you see the fire particle effects and stuff is definitely dropping the frames a little bit. And we're seeing we're dipping into the twenties here. Uh, so I gotta say, for all the games I've been testing, CPU temperatures have been really good. Um, I haven't seen it peak fat uh, higher than seventy-five. Uh, from what I can remember, so uh, the act of cooling is doing its job. It's it's not loud at all. Um, so if you're um, unless you have the volume turned completely off, you won't be able to hear it at all. Um, this game is using a fair amount of system memory, about 1500, and GPU uh, memory is about 170. So it's not bad. CPU usage is pretty low, um, and uh, so it's not really using a whole, the CPU a whole lot. As you can see, the CPU core clock speeds are they're, they're boosting pretty well, up close to 1600 megahertz because they're not really being utilized. Um, and the GPU is also at its max boost rate of 620, so everything is, is pretty much giving giving what it's got. For, for some reason, the GPU usage is relatively low. So I'm not sure what's what's holding it back here. If it's TDP limited, which it probably is, um, but usually you would see the GPU usage spike a little higher than that. There we go, it's coming up some more. Oh, we got some good stuff. Yeah, I just saw it dip down to 15 frames per second there. It's stuttering. I saw it dip down to 6, too. That is no bueno. So, uh, call that playable? Probably not. At this point, I probably wouldn't call that playable, but... If you're willing to crank the resolution down lower than 720p, it, it certainly could be. Um, maybe 800 by 600. If you want to get really crazy, go 640 by 480. That's some old school resolutions there. Anyways, um, so there's Torchlight 2. If you guys, any questions about the game or anything else? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks.